Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, we are playing the Mauler, because the Mauler is a beautiful mech, especially with this loadout here. The good old MX-90 with 6 ballistic hardpoint is being utilized today, as you can see, with rotary autocannons on the right side and regular autocannons on the left side. Why? Because, first of all, we can, and secondly, it's a great combination that doesn't produce any ghost heat. And that means we can just duck her away and use the triplet of our rucks to just uh, spin up the barrels and then shoot a hail of bullets at our enemies, shredding through the enemy's armor, and then we also have a tri triplet of uh, autocannon twos on the left side that deals six damage over and over and over and over and over again. And that's so fun to play. We have a massive cockpit shake, we have pretty good DPS here guys, it is absolutely insane. You will see that, uh, I would say especially in the second game, so if you can focus on a single target that is slow, that has big hitboxes where you can aim properly and yet you, you just grind through them, then they are dead. No questions asked. The mech is not the most mobile one though, I gotta say, so find yourself a nice spot within the team cohesion or on a high ground and then just go for it and shoot at medium range at about 600, 700 meters and you will have a good time here. I had to strip the arms down by the way and I had to strip the leg armor down as well as the head armor, so be a little bit careful. Uh, it is not the most, I would say, defensive mech, but it can offense quite a lot. We have three double heat sinks to keep us cold, rest is ammunition as well as the light engine 300 and I would say there's nothing more to say except for the skill build. So let's dive into that as well. Obviously we are full ballistic therefore we are using our magazine capacity and the jam duration thing. That's actually the ramp down duration notes on the on the violet ones here down here. Also we want a good chunk of heat chain because heat gen helps us keeping cool, staying in the fight, shooting more bullets, and uh, you will see the, the mech racks up a good chunk of heat over time, so watch your heat gauge. At the same time, we are also a stair down build, which means we're gonna deliver our damage over time, our alpha strike is not good, our DPS is amazing, therefore we need to apply it for an extended period of time, which in return means that we will uh, expose ourselves quite a lot. And that in return means that we will probably get shot and therefore I wanted almost maximum um, survivability here, almost. I was skipping to skeletal density because I had something that I wanted more and that is cooling. I need that cooling here in order to keep the mech working, otherwise it's getting a little bit too toasty. But you will see, it will work and it's glorious if it works. We also have no radar deprivation today because again, we are exposing ourselves anyway, radar derp doesn't really help with that. And then there is an artillery strike as well as double cool shot. Again, the mech is a bit hot, but it definitely works. And that's the build everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now if you have that. And don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, so first game of the day, we are playing the River City. We are going to the left side and we have our override engage. So we can shoot at long range at 800 meters roundabout, or we can shoot at mid range at, let's say, you know, 600 meters is pre pretty good. So we're gonna, we're gonna remember um, 600. There's a UAV in the center. Also, there are lasers coming. Did I see something there? Ooh, there's something going on. Our, our PPC guy is, is already giving away our position like a boss, by the way. I, I don't like it too much, but okay. I mean, he wants to do something, and I want to help him. Um, What is he shooting, actually? Seriously, I can't see anything. I want to wait here, though. A bit too exposed, though. Uh, let's get down here. That, that is too scary. I want to go around. I want to go to the Foxtrot 7 area if the archer moves. And he does. Wait, uh, wait, I'm too fat? Is that what you're saying? I am too fat, okay, cool. So let's turn around very slowly and get up here. There's a piranha coming in already. That is bad, that's the worst, everybody. Actually, I'm happy that I'm not on the high ground anymore. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we're gonna eat that. Come out of here. These guys are super aggressive, like mega aggressive. Mmm, and I cannot go anywhere. Alright, let's go down here then. Uh-huh. Hello, Nova Cat. We can shred through enemies like crazy, so let's do that. Alright, and Nova Cat again. Guys, these guys are aggressive! Holy hell! And I'm on the front line, which I don't like. I need to reposition. I need to unjam as well. Uh, drop an artillery, which we don't have right now. Okay. I, I gotta go, and I know where to. I'm gonna push in, because there's a guy pushing me. Yeah. God, move, move, move! Thank you! Now we have a position. So, Mad Cat, what's your plan, huh? 
All right, we cannot shoot him anymore. Shoot the little guys then. What is that flea doing, huh? There's a guy on the right side. Oh, Gotta watch the minimap all the time. That's a Marauder, and that Marauder is mine. That's a side hold. Look at that, it's so good. I love it. Okay, is the Marauder down? He is not down. He fought his way out of his situation there, actually. So, now he's going. What a freaking fight, guys. I'm gonna go back now. I'm gonna help the people. I will push high ground now. All right, let's go. That piranha, oh, go away, little flea. The piranha is not a problem anymore, actually. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. My people are already going up there. I'm getting shot in the butt, probably by the flea. Is he stealthy? I don't know. Come on, Archer, let me do it. Come on, come on, come on. Pushing high ground now. Let's go. That guy was uh, critical on the left side. So we're gonna take that. And then we're gonna take his life. All right. Ooh. Was that heavy, Gauss? I'm not gonna do it. No. We're gonna disengage again. Whoa, the fight. I love it. And I'm so happy that we were under the bridge when the artillery was actually hitting. Somebody is there in the back. Uh, and then there's somebody ooh, here on the high ground. Got him. Eight and seven. Go, go five. Go five as well. Gauss shot straight to the center. Good damn shot here. But holy hell, was that a fight? I loved it. I loved every single part of it. Um, there's a Gauss Vapor Eagle behind you in gold five, by the way. So don't get too attached to this little guy here. Hit him in the leg. Yeah. No. Uh oh. Now he's switching target. Why is he switching target now? No, don't do that. That's the worst trap. It's like, yeah, I almost got a guy. Now somebody else is coming in. I better shoot that guy instead of killing this guy that I almost had. Oh, it's a trap. It's always such a trap. All right. I mean, sure. It's the rule of proximity that always applies. Is it closer to me? Sure. I take that as my priority. Although the other guy was almost off the battlefield. Oh. Sitting in the Always. No <laughs> Alright. It was a good game anyway. I, I really liked it. It was really messy. It was really cool. It was really, really hard fighting our spot. We dealt 800 damage. We got one killing blow, two assists, 400 taken with four components destroyed. And that was the first round. So let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Robolite Oasis and we are playing Domination. Ideally, I want to go uh, on the high ground and I want to try to shoot the enemies from far, far away. But it all depends on where my team is going. It seems like these guys are a little bit aggressive here. Look at them. We have some heavies and medium skirmishes, brawlers. What is going on here? Vapor Eagle, Quick Draw, Dervish? I, I, cannot, I cannot bank on these guys staying with me. Not at all. So do we stay on the high ground? I think yes. We're gonna also go a bit more to the right side there. There's a Victor, there's a Nightshee. I feel more comfortable around them because, again, these guys here, uh, they will just dispatch. And then I'm kind of standing here alone with my pants down. And I don't like it. However, there's a linebacker already. There's another guy already that we cannot shoot. It's just a little bit of damage. I care about mobility and positioning more than dealing damage right now. Therefore, we're gonna set up like this. Big, big target for our enemies. Okay, another hit there. You know, we dealt 18 damage. That's not too shabby. You need help there? All right, oh, I'm gonna turn around then. Cool, cool, cool. Or maybe not so cool. But this is kind of my spot here. This is where I wanna be. This is where I wanna live. Ooh, PPCs you say. They have a flea coming up on the high ground. Left side. Oh, and I cannot hit anything here. <laughs> so, where were the PPCs coming from? Do I want to help out in the bottom? I have the feeling I need to kind of... Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to. So, I cannot I cannot challenge a PPC pop out. I am going to drop here. That's what I'm going to be doing. Because the team is kind of together, and I want to be part of this. And I know I'm giving up my high ground there, but the PPC carrier is too much for me. So, I guess we're pushing low ground then. Go for the Fafnir. I have him suppressed. Go for it. Go for it. Kilo, kilo. Yeah, and uh, I wanted to say down he goes. Yeah, come on. There we go. We got the kill. And now we're going to keep going, I say. Copy the Jäger. Let's go for it. I hope that nobody is dropping behind us, really. And another one. Okay, let's keep it going. Get the linebacker. 
Okay, we're gonna just... Oh, yeah, that's the problem. I really got shot from behind. This sneaky dude. I wasn't aware. Guys, turn around. Delta 5, low ground. I need some help here. Can you come? All right. Trying to hunt these little guys is gonna be a problem. But I wonder what the linebacker is doing. Uh, right side on the linebacker. Foxtrot. Uh, let's try to get the high ground, actually. I hope that the flea is not around anymore. Alright, so this guy is gonna run. He's gonna run to his friends there. The problem is he can easily disengage when we are pushing up on the high ground by just jumping down again. But okay, let's go for it. We have 5-0! Rock it up! Nowhere to go, buddy! Here we go! Got him! It's 8 and 0! There's a uh, stealth flea somewhere, by the way. Somewhere. I don't know where, but he's somewhere. <laughs> what a game. Amazing. Right, so where did the flea go? I really want to hunt him down, honestly. That is so... I mean, we are kind of stomping these guys, but you can see the power of the build just coming in, getting a kill very, very quickly. Like, extremely quickly. Um, Stormcrow, do we have an angle? Uh, no, that's the drawback of the build. Once out of position, it's hard to get into position again. Mm -hmm. Don't want to deal too much team damage, if any team damage at all. That's that's really that's really tough, guys. Let's go for the crow. We can hit it a bunch, but not from here anymore. It's not possible. Still, it's a nine and two situation. Where's the rest of the enemy team? There is still a flea missing, I believe. The crow is down now, but then there was a cheetah and a flea, I believe. Wow. Yeah, everything is fighting down here, and somebody's calling assistance there. Is he is he getting damage? I'm pressing Q to see his uh, status. Oh yeah, there he is. Good shot there, but the moment he got an impact, I was aligning my shot and I couldn't hit him anymore. Oh, that was a hit. Is he going in again? Uh, oh, he's still there. Uh, running to the right side, you can see the smoke running to the left side. He's still on the high ground. I don't know if he's going anywhere. There he is. Keep him spotted. This is so hard. And he is... Wow, he's running in such an erratic pattern. But I cannot do anything. You know, my best bet would be staying here and waiting for him to maybe get pushed out. But that is it. My god, what a fight. Nope, not like this. Not like this. Yeah, you just get the flea, guys. I have nothing to do against him. Now he's also lagged and that's his demise. Alright. Yo, guys, we got three killing blows, and we shredded that Fafnir. That was so good. It felt so satisfying. And, um, yeah, it is a strong mech. If you can just focus down a single enemy like that, it really does the job. So we, quote-unquote, only got 540 damage here. We got three killing blows, eight assists, two kill most damage dealt. But we destroyed nine components, and when you look at this, you will see that this is the top of the end here. Because everybody was just obliterated by focused team fire. And that's the game today. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.